Okay. Oh, that's an interesting place for the cue ball to stop. All right. Interesting. Mm. Do anything elevated. Uh. Ah, this is the interesting one. Do that one again. <clears throat> okay. Cool beans. Ooh, not close at all. That's odd. Ugh.
Huh. Interesting, the longer shots, I'm not hitting the spot. Still undercut. Still undercut. <clears throat> ha, very interesting. Nice. Oh, what's going on here? There's a couple people awake. Trying not to hit another object ball needlessly. Yes, I know. I was, I was way undercutting that 14 ball. Um, what, you guys, what you may not have recognized, I'm assuming my sound is working. Yeah, it should be working. What you may not have recognized is that uh, every single shot that I just shot there, my eyes were closed. So I know where the aiming point is on every shot. The question is, are you hitting the aiming point? And shooting with your eyes closed is a very good practice for a practice drill for that reason, because you're you're finding out whether you're actually shooting the cue ball where you're aiming, or if your stroke stroke is going crooked, not going straight. And and sometimes we have tendency to twist to help make some balls. That's what this is about. So I'm gonna, let's see if some more people show up. I, this isn't gonna be all that exciting. I'm, I'm not gonna play straight pool. I'm just gonna shoot some practice and uh, a couple different things. And I can, I can try that. I can try shooting a rack where I don't run another ball. What I, I'm gonna do, what I, that was just to loosen up. What I'm doing right now is, is uh, I'll, I'll type this in. So anyone shows up to the chat and knows what I'm doing. I'll just type it in. <clears throat> Can I run the table with my eyes closed? So now I'm going to shoot. I'm just going to break it wide open, but then I'm going to just shoot them. I'm going to shoot whatever the easiest shot is and play position and try and clear the table. But, and I, I can, everything up to the point where I'm ready to shoot, my eyes are open. But when I do the final pause at the cue ball, I close my eyes and then shoot. So I'll just try and get an even spread of the balls. That's not very even. <laughs> uh, and I would normally I wouldn't take ball in hand, but I didn't have a shot, so I'm taking ball in hand. Because none of that's none of that's the issue. The issue is, well, there's more than one, and I'll talk about it later. So those four balls on the rail are trouble. Okay, let's uh, let's play the 14 and just come over for the 13 in the side, which is right here. So everything until I, I shoot, uh, the, the entire two second pause before I shoot, my eyes are closed. So that cue ball didn't go anywhere near where I thought it would, uh, where I wanted it to. So the question is, th this gets you to be sure of your Q-tip position and your aim before you shoot. Because once, you, once you're lined up, you should be able to close your eyes. Because you, you train yourself hundreds of hours to deliver your cue straight. So once, once you're aimed and lined up and you know what speed and where your Q-tip position is, you don't need to look. Do 
the other thing is it make it, uh, which is the other reason why I'm doing it. In fact, the, the sole reason why I started doing it is because <clears throat> I still have had that problem with my head moving a little bit when I shoot. That's resurfaced and that's no good. This is one of the ways you can train yourself to not do that. Because if you're not looking, you don't have a tendency to get your head up higher to look. Close your eyes so you're not looking. Just listen. And then and stay still. Okay, let's see if I can get position on that three. Ooh. There are times when I've done this and I feel like I missed the shot. And then the, I can hear I hear the ball go in. It's that nervousness and trepidation. You're not trusting yourself. Shoot with your eyes closed and you build that trust. Okay, let's draw back for the six or the eight. It also takes you a little bit of time to close your eyes. <laughs> and that reinforces holding still. And it reinforces not shooting too fast. Take Taking that full two seconds at cue ball address before you shoot. All right, let's see if I can draw into the one and get shape on that eight. You might be able to see my eyes here. Nope, I'm broad enough. This is going to be hard because these twos are, are tied up and uh, three balls along the rail are trouble. I'm going to go ahead and play a breakout shot just. Let's see how I do here. If you have your Q-tip placed right, and you're in right, you should be able to do it. All right, let's move the eight one, or at least the eight. Now this is the biggest cut shot, the most biggest angle I've tried today. Um, what do I want to do? I'm just going to come out here for the 13, I think. I, I mean, I am. <laughs> it makes you a little more deliberate with what you're doing because you know you're going to have your eyes closed when you shoot. So you're a little more careful about just what you're doing. All right, this is touchy. I got to go down to the eight, I think. Let's do that. Oh, there's a miss. So I failed. That's my first miss shot, I think. Ooh, and I, got, I hit it too hard to get on the eight. Let's try and clear them from here. Okay, now I gotta come up above seven, eight. Makes, the other thing, shooting with your eyes closed, it makes you feel what your arm is doing. You need to feel it. That's where everything happens. You've got to feel it. And um, you don't feel it if your eyes are closed and you're rising up and, and rushing and all that. It gets, everything, it gets everything at the right pace where it should be. Okay, now we're going to do a drawback for the seven. See how much that I'm, re I'm not consciously trying to stay still and stay down. But when your eyes are closed, that's what you do. You don't do anything else. All right, let's go for position on the one. And that's what I need to bring to my game because it's not solid yet. Okay. Oh. I needed an angle and I don't have one. 
But both balls go up there, so let's see if we can get good up here. Oh, position off the point. Well, it's going to be hard to get on the last ball. Woo! It's going to be hard to make the ball. Do the eight in the corner. Oh, you tell I overcut it because the cue ball, the eight ball went three rails. So that's two misses, and now I'm. No, I've made it hard on myself. Come on now, let's make this. Nice. Oh, I hit it too hard for position though. Well, I'm not going to make a shot on that. <laughs> All right. Sometimes we don't even line up straight. We just adjust at the end when, and our eyes are open. We can kind of adjust as we shoot. Well, you can't do that if your eyes are closed. You've got to get everything lined up correctly before you pull the trigger. And so that's another thing this does for you. It gets you to do everything right. All right, I didn't get all 15, so I want to try again. Well, let me go look at the chat. I'm only going to be on for like an hour tonight. I'm going to take tomorrow off, too, and then I'll decide whether I take Thursday off. <clears throat> well, I've got a camera mounted in the dead center, top of the table, looking straight down. Um, I've, got a, I've got a video online where I, I show all of my equipment. Um, it's just it's just a uh, it's just a webcam, and I've I built I hung a little piece of wood and mounted it to it, and it's just pointed straight down. I never touch it; it's just fixed in place all the time. Yeah, let me try this again. <clears throat> and by the way, this is the easy version because the more advanced version is you have to call your shot, call the shot you're going to shoot next before you shoot the first ball. That's how ha how much of a habit I have been, I've been shooting straight pool. I'm not doing that. Okay, let's get the ball spread. Hopefully I can do it without taking ball in hand on the break. Uh, now I hit that hard and all the balls are on one half of the table. You know, if you're shooting an eight ball break, you want to get them across the whole table. All right, well, let's see what I can do. This, these two are the only problem. I'll have to find a way to get there, but first I gotta clear the 15 to clear the pocket for these balls. <coughs> How am I gonna do that? All right, mm, let's see, I'm gonna play two, two ball first. <clears throat> Every shot is with the eyes closed. I'd like to shoot the 14 and run into the 7 and have the 15 next, but with my eyes closed, I don't know. <laughs> it makes you pay attention to how long your backstroke is. You can feel your arm, whether you're keeping your elbow in place, and of course it helps you to stay down. All right, I don't want to shoot the, uh, I don't want to run into the 7. I just want to get a shot on the 14. Oh my God. So, look how easy that shot was and I missed it with my eyes closed. So, well, why was I not lined up right with my stand? Did I wiggle? What, what, what in the world? There we go. Now, I don't mind running into the 510 here for this exercise.
So that shot's kind of telling because, I mean, you could pocket that ball hitting it in a variety of places, but you want to, I hit it where I aimed. Okay. <laughs> Let's shoot the six. Maybe we'll free up that four seven. This was a good test of being lined up right. Nice. Okay. I think I gotta shoot the four softly. Okay. I might wanna save that one ball. <laughs> towards the end. Let's shoot the 10 into part of a pocket. Oh, now I've got to shoot a, shoot over the table. See what, huh, yeah. All right. Huh. Shoot the 10 into part of a pocket or shoot the seven. All right, we're gonna shoot the seven ball. Yeah, it, it just, you, you're feeling your backstroke and you, you feel you pull it back and release and you're feeling it come, you gotta go straight because you can't look. You can't make any adjustments. It's gotta be where you've been, where, you, where you're lined up. 12. And I like keeping my eyes closed and listening because pool is an audio, audible sound. Uh, hey, it's a cool pattern, right? Five, nine, 11, 13, one in the side. <clears throat> Because pool is audible, and it's actually a mnemonic trigger that can help you play well if you train for it. Because every single shot has three sounds, Q-tip hitting the cue ball, cue ball hitting the object ball, object ball hitting the pocket. Tick, tick, thunk, tick, tick, thunk, tick, tick, thunk. You get used to hearing that, and then your subconscious expects to hear it every time you shoot, which means you don't miss. Now I'm going to have to play position for this 11 because I didn't get straight on the 9. Far enough. How much do you, how often do you twitch and wiggle and not, and cut this too much or undercut it? Not when you train like this. Line up and then close your eyes. I'm not saying close your eyes during a game. But it trains you to just do that. Now the whole reason I'm doing this is because, because move, head movement has cropped back into my game recently and that is no good at all. One-handed? No, I don't do one-handed. <laughs> and I, you know what? The other day I tried to, I tried to shoot a couple balls left-handed. I look like an APA two left-handed. I, I cannot, I can barely hit the cue ball. And um, that's probably because being so tall, I never had to. Like, look, watch, watch me try to shoot this left-handed. I'm honestly trying as hard as I can. I, I can't. I don't even know how to. I mean, I look like a. That's, a, that's how good I play left-handed. I, I can't hit a ball. I, 
And it's probably because I stretch out over the table. I can reach things so I don't have to shoot left-handed. I, maybe I should learn, but I, I, I never have. Uh, one-handed is, I, I've played a lot of one-handed. I've, there's techniques. I'm not the best one-handed player, but there's, there's ways to do it. There's techniques, and you can draw the ball and play position and all kinds of stuff. Of course, shooting off the rail is much easier. So I can play one-handed. I'm not the best. There's, I've seen guys shoot incredible one-handed, and that's not me. But it's, it's not a skill that's important. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking two days off, Howard. Two days off, no straight pool. And I, so I'm just hitting balls right now. Uh, so I'll, I'll come back and look at the chat and see if anybody, anyone has a suggestion for a training drill that you want to see me do. But here's one that I'm going to do. Um, and, and when I hang up, when I'm done with the live session, I'm going to do more eyes closed because there, it, there's a ton of benefits. But for me, the primary, primary reason I need to do it is to get, continue to train myself to get to stay down, which isn't about staying down, it's about being solid and letting the cue do all the work and trusting it. There's so many aspects to it. And that's been slipping away from me and it's not been fun, so I need to get back to that. Uh, it needs to become automatic. And I thought, I thought it, I had made it automatic for a little while there, but uh, no. But, but, then it, but then the head movement started creeping back in, and that's, that's just not going to work, period. So all I'm doing here is pocketing these balls. Uh, the ball's near the rail. You sh I'm shooting from the head spot because it's a cut shot. The ball's in the middle. I'm, I'm going to put the cue ball here so they're straight in shots. But every one of them's with the eyes closed. So it just reinforces staying still, keeping the elbow pin. You just stroke through, Q-tip finishes on the table, everything stays still. That's what it's, did I bump the cue ball there? I must have bumped the cue bit or the one ball. And it reinforces trusting your stroke because you've got to trust it with your when your eyes are closed. You have to trust the work that you've put in before that point, which means you can't be lazy about putting that work in. So it's just so many benefits. Uh oh, I heard that. I stayed pretty still there. Oh, my cue ball. It looks like my cue ball stopped. That means I didn't uh, aim or Q-tip position was off a touch. So pay attention to that. Missed again. <clears throat> my, I, I don't know what my record is, but I think I've run an entire rack of this shot, alternating side to side, straight in with the eyes closed. Missed again. I see right English on the cue ball, too. So um, uh, I can feel that my setup isn't right. I'm not setting up right. I'm not setting up solidly, confidently, etc. 
And also, when you do your warm-ups, boy, you're really paying attention to how straight that Q-tip is coming back because you've got to reproduce that with your eyes closed. So it better be straight. Okay, I opened my eyes in time to see the cue ball drifting to the right, but I'm happy I made it. Ah, I bet that was an undercut. Um, and that can happen on these shots because what do we do what do we do when we don't trust our stroke? We, we twist or we, and or try to put a little bit of right English because we think that's helper English to help making the ball. If you're in the habit of doing that, you're never going to improve till you get rid of it. You always shoot the ball straight in the pocket. The only time you use spin is if you need help uh, with position. better. It just so much, oh, it just so reinforces the idea of stay, staying still and, and all the way through and at the same time let, letting your cue do the work. And of course there's other shots you can set up. There's no limit to the shots you could set up. I just like these. And then you can, once you, once you get more comfortable, you can start drawing the ball or following the ball, putting more speed on it. Nice. A little bit of right spin, though. Did you see that? Um, I noticed my first warm-up strokes on that shot were not straight. Now, usually when I'm shooting... You know, regular game. I'm, I I usually do three warm up strokes, sometimes four, but I did many more because my first ones weren't straight, and that's no good. You want to come down on your shot so that you're the, everything's there, and you do your normal warm ups every time. You don't want to be seeking the aim point while you're down on the ball. That's no good. Nice. A little more speed on this one, too. Hey, I would have made that if it was one pocket. I would have banked it. But that was a clear overcut. I think I cut it to here, probably. So, whenever you add speed, things can go offline. That's why you train. Build, build it up slowly. Don't just start hammering them. Hit them soft and then harder, 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 harder as you train. Nice. So, I need to do this. I haven't done this in a long time, and I, I'm sad to say that a less than straight stroke and head movement cropped back into my game. I'm not happy about it. So I need to do this a lot more, or do it more regularly. Okay. Eyes closed. We're going to follow the cue ball right into the pocket. A double kiss. And didn't come close to making the ball, I guess. 
So that means I'm not lined up, lining myself up well. Nice. you to feel. Feel what your backhand is doing. You need to feel it. That's now I, I'm not going to shoot a lot of them right now, but off camera, I mean, if you really want to train this, you need to shoot like three or four racks of that, just that shot. So you're just making them one after the other after the other. Now I want the cue ball to get to the bottom rail. Oh. Just nice and smooth. So I'm addressing the top of the cue ball. Ah, nuts. <clears throat> Sounded to me like it hit the near, that must have hit the rail going in. So, yeah. Line up better than that. Hey, uh, I overcut that one. Too many warm up strokes pointing at the wrong place. Better. So the video, there's a, uh, there's a trick, it's kind of a trick shot thing, but it's really what I'm talking about that's on the internet. It's been done for decades. There's one of Jason Shaw doing this, pocketing this ball. So he lines up to the shot, gets out, he's ready to shoot, closes his eyes, lifts the cue up, an assistant takes the cue out of his hand, then puts it back in his hand. His eyes are still closed, puts it back in his hand, he brings the cue back to his bridge, shoots and makes the ball. Think I can do it? I don't have an assistant, but I'll take my cue away and see if I can do it. What do you think of that, kids? I've said it before, you aim with your feet. You aim with your feet and your, uh, your stance. If you're doing it correctly. If you're doing it, not correct, I won't say correctly, if you're doing it away, in a way that is most easily repeatable from shot to shot to shot for a million shots in a row. Okay, I want to draw the ball back now. Well, I didn't get a lot of draw, but I like how I, my Q-tip finished on the table, and I think I finished pretty still, and I made the ball. Let's try and get the cue ball above the side pocket. How about that, kids? <laughs> ah, there's nobody watching. <laughs> oh. 
Coleman, Immonen, and FSR. I hope Jason Shaw is going to be there. I wish John Schmidt would come. I know he's probably not going to, but I wish he would. Bob's even there, but he's going. Yeah, I'm going. They, they'll get it. They, they're not. They'll get it. I, I'm already confirmed. Yeah, I was missing to both sides, and that's trust in your where the aim point that you're pointing the Q-tip at and alignment. You have to have those two things, and then you can close your eyes and shoot. Um, what else, guys? I'm going to do that other thing again. I almost I, I miss playing straight pool. I want I need to take a break, but I now that I'm hitting some balls. These are the first balls I've hit today. Now that I'm hitting some balls, I feel like I want to play. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm going to be taking a break. Maybe I'll give myself five innings. No, you should give yourself three innings. <laughs> no more. All right. I can't believe I broke before, and, and the balls, all 15, all 15 balls were on that end of the table. Let's, 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 uh, let's do a proper eight ball break. Yeah, it's a little more reasonable. First shot's going to be tough. Unless I go this way, maybe. All right, the goal here is to run all the balls without missing. Eyes closed. And I'm not calling the next shot. I'm just doing the simplest version. So everything's got to be lined up properly so you can close your eyes and shoot. Okay. It, it means you make all your decisions about how hard to hit it and Q tip position, etc. It's just keep your elbow still and just hand to chest. Just deliver it and you're in. Now what am I going to do? Can I try and draw into the 12? Yeah, I should. Just because I, we're doing, we're, we're practicing here. Oh, I overdid it. Huh. All right, and draw back one ball diameter, one to two. Now we're going to test out our follow stroke. Nope, I'm going to draw it. Okay. I'm going to try and come up for the 12, 12 to the 8. Well, that didn't come up the direction I thought it would. It's going to get tricky if I don't play good position. Out for the nine. Oh, I didn't. Uh, wow, I didn't think. Oh, I didn't think I was hitting it that hard. 
Oh, oh, I just made it tough for myself. I'm going to have to let 14 go. I guess it, I can try and wiggle it in. A lot of angle here. Let's do the 10. Oh, no. I thought I was going to make it. Did you notice what I did? You probably didn't. It's too subtle on video. I had a hitch in my stroke. I didn't stroke. I didn't pull back correctly. I didn't, I didn't pull back smoothly and deliver. I kind of went, I did a two-step on the back, and that threw it offline. That's a trust issue. You got to deliver where your aim point one is. If you believe it's in, then close your eyes and, and deliver right there. See? A lot of your misses are because you don't trust it and you try to wiggle in your delivery and then it that's when you miss. All right, let's we'll do a little little shot in the side after this one. All right, so you can get good position on that eight. Okay. Hey, it's the last ball's the eighth ball. And I want I just want you to see because I want you to believe. <laughs> Sometimes I shoot more accurately with my eyes closed. I'm not saying you should, should do it during competition as a training, a training tool. Yeah, one or two balls ahead. I'm not ready. To, I'm not trying to put too much pressure on myself. I'm, I'm taking it easy. This is my day off. Today and tomorrow, days off. Um, what else? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a short out of that, the one where I, I pulled the, can, the cue away and then, and then made it. And you guys are the only ones who'll know that I didn't do like 50 takes. It was the first try. <laughs> what else? Somebody give me something else. I should do the L drill. Let me do the L drill. Because I haven't done the L drill in forever. And I should be doing it every week. And, and more complicated versions. Can I do the, finish the 15 ball L drill on the first try? Place your bets. Now this is with my eyes open, my eyes open. Although doing it with your eyes closed would be good too. But I just, I haven't done this forever. I want to try and do it. Uh, <clears throat> let's see if I can do it. Whoop. I'm going to shoot straight pool. I'm going to give myself three attempts. No more, no less. Doesn't matter if I scratch, whatever. Okay, let's do this. Oops. Wrong angle off the bat. We're going to hammer bounce this out for the seven.
Get right in line and stay in line. Just that, that shooting with my eyes closed has already helped me here, staying, staying more still. And shoot, and let, letting the cue do the work as well. And pause, getting me to pause before I shoot. Man, amazing. slight angle do I try and hold it or I bounce try and bounce it out <sighs> okay wow I overdid it I didn't think I would do that much and I went really close to the balls I wanted to come here and out like that Woo -hoo. well I just made this shot tougher this will be fun if I can get out from here. Get over there, cue ball. Nope, I didn't hit it hard enough. All right, let's do it once more. Come on, get over there this time. <laughs> Jeez, still didn't get it over there. Ugh. All right, we're going to go one rail this time. Oh, I blew it. I didn't get the cue ball over there. All right, I'm... I'm I, my phone dinged on me a few times and I was wondering what the heck is. Make a video. Oh, okay. Steve Kerr. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, three tries of straight pool. I'm going to try three. That'd be cool if I ran a 50 or a 100 or 150. <laughs> Three tries of three with the same discipline and diligence that I just applied for that eyes closed drill. Because there's no other way. That's, that's how you have to play. That's how you play. That's how I do play. Okay. Now this is this is a no brainer.
<clears throat> Should I go six four? I've never you know, you just get too many weird angles on that four if you try that, I think. Uh. Ah, see, I, that's not what I wanted. And that diamond table at the pool hall, that cue ball would have bounced way out to here. But this, this is what I mean. These tables are still, still squishy, slidey. Oh, darn it. I, I had a, a run going, a good one. And I, I was debating whether to draw, to hold it and just draw straight at the six or bounce. Bouncing off the rail is the right way to go. You, you want you, over here is fine. You just get it over here so you're past the shot line. I thought I hit it hard enough to do that, and I didn't. So now. Oh, what a trick shot this would be if I can pull it off. But I don't see a way to get on the 14 ball from the six. Unless I go out of the corner. Yeah, that's probably the right shot, but it's so brutal. <laughs> All right, let's try it. That's the right shot. Wow. Well, there's attempt number one. Um, typical thing we've seen for me, it's when the times when I don't get out of the rack is a failure right at the last couple of balls. So I've got this angle, a slight angle, and I'm debating whether to draw straight back or bounce off the rail. And there's the, there's the right shot. So now I'm on attempt number two. Wow, so that was. I mean, you can call that a decision error. If I bounce the cue ball far enough, I wouldn't even be thinking about it. But I still think, I mean, it's a decision error at root. 
And how, I mean, if you can't, you got to be able to make those decisions, you know, during a match when it counts. Under pressure, they call it. Under pressure. Ugh. It's hard to make the right decision sometimes. It's easy when you're sitting in the commentator's booth or watching on TV. <laughs> There's that head ball coming across the table for me right here. Whenever there's no ball on the side. I'm not sure about that shot, the wisdom of that shot, but that's what I did. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lee. Maybe a little timid there, but I got there. That's one rack 
in two balls. Yeah, real, real shallow angle. All right, let's make it work. I know what to do. <clears throat> Yep, didn't pull the cue ball enough. Yep. I'm done probably. Well, I barely have, I mean, I don't know if there's even enough room to make the three past that 13. All right, three ball cross side. Oh yeah, baby. Get oh, come on. Ooh. All right. So, timid timidness on that one ball. I didn't get an angle on the break shot, and then I didn't draw the cue ball enough on the break shot to get a shot. Last attempt. Three ball. Nine. Ooh. Boy, I don't want to do that. I'm going to move it a little bit. Yep, kind of messed that up a little bit. All right. Well, I wish the 13 was gone. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I messed that up. I needed to shoot the 13 earlier, and I didn't get the right angle on it.
This is almost as good, but not nearly. I'm a Star Wars fan. I can hear Yoda in my, in my head telling Luke, remember your training. My training is what I just did with my eyes closed to stay down. I can already feel myself starting to move a little bit when I'm shooting. Get back to staying frozen. <clears throat> Well, I'm not ready to return to running racks yet. <laughs> I'm going to practice a little more tomorrow, and I might do a live stream, but I might not. And then Thursday, look for something. Unless anybody wants to see me shoot some type of practice drill or anything. Let me look at the chat. How long have I been going? One hour. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't really count. I um, wasn't committed to... I just shot, I just gave myself three attempts there because I missed playing pool. <laughs> I didn't play today. That's it. That's the only reason. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I've got some plans, a couple things I'm going to do tomorrow, a couple trips and stuff, and some work I got to do. So I probably, you won't, probably won't see me tomorrow, but Thursday, Thursday morning I'll do something. All right, man. That's all I'm going to do today. Good night. <laughs>